So in the last year, a lot of people have gotten side gigs to help make extra money. Uber Eats, definitely a great way to make money. But now that tax season's here, we're wondering, do we owe taxes on the money we made? Well, in short, yes, you do. So let's talk Uber Eats and taxes. If you made $600 or more working with Uber Eats, you likely owe taxes on the money that you made. See, when you work with Uber Eats, you're actually an independent contractor. You're not a direct employee, which means Uber Eats hasn't been taking the taxes out of your paycheck. They've just been giving you the whole paycheck, which means now that it's tax time, it's your responsibility to pay the taxes from that income. Now, it sounds scary, but it's not. I'll walk you through the process. So for starters, you're going to log into drivers.uber.com. And from there, you're gonna get your 1099 forms. As an independent contractor, these are the documents that you use for tax purposes. You might be wondering, well, how much am I gonna owe? Let's go over that. So for starters, we're gonna look at the income. How much did you make in the last year? The good news is that as an independent contractor, you have the ability to subtract some of the expenses you incurred, business expenses, right? Things like, car expenses, phone expenses, even parking expenses that you incurred while driving and delivering Uber Eats orders. From there, you'll take the income, you'll subtract the deductions, and you'll have a pretty rough estimate of your profits that year. And you'll take about 15.3% of that for taxes. Let's take a closer look. Here's an example. Say last year you worked for about 10 to 15 hours a week for Uber Eats deliveries. Over the course of a year, you could expect to make about $7,000. So here's how you would calculate your expenses. For mileage, you look you keep track of all the places you drove. From deliveries alone, let's say you racked up about 5,500 miles on your car. At the standard IRS mileage deduction of 56 cents a mile, that's about $3,080. Now at this 10 to 15 hours a week, that's about 9% of your time throughout the year. If your phone bill last year was $840, 9% of that is about $75. Now, keep track of parking expenses. Let's say you had about $53 in parking expenses in the last year. Also make sure to include um, any car mounts you buy for about $7 or any hot bags you buy for about $20. Uh, the price you pay is the price that you would put here. Now take the revenue that you made, $7,000 in this case, and subtract your expenses. This includes mileage, phone service, parking, and other business related expenses. Now we can see your profit. After expenses, you can expect to make about $3,765. This is the amount you owe taxes on. At an average rate of 15.3%, you can expect to owe about $576. Now, obviously, this is just an example. The amount you made may look different. Your expenses may look different. This is just an example to show you how the math can be done so that you can figure out how much to expect to owe for taxes. Now, you might be thinking, wow, that's a lot of money to pay in one go. And yeah, it is. See, independent contractors are actually supposed to be paying on a quarterly basis or four times throughout the year. Those dates are April 15th, June 15th, September 15th, and January 15th of the next year. Now, don't fret if you didn't pay your taxes on those dates this year. It's a learning experience. Just go ahead and pay taxes for all of last year during this tax time. And then going forward, make sure you're paying on those quarterly basis. It'll make it so much easier so that you're going from something like this to something like this instead. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this and want more information. Additionally, if you or somebody you know worked with DoorDash in the last year, we have a great video on DoorDash and paying taxes right here. And if you want more information on this Uber Eats information and, and how my teammate actually went through the process herself, be sure to check out the blog on our website at netpayadvance.com. We hope you have a fantastic day.